Hey everyone, my name is Sam, and this is my February, fa I mean, um, January favorites video. That's what I meant. <laughs> um, so, sorry, my chair is all wonky. Um, so, here are my faves for the month. And some are from the end of the month, but I decided to include it because I did use it in the month, and I love it equally. Okay, sorry I didn't paint my nails. They're just all chipped and stuff. Um, first one is the Garnier BB Cream in light to me light medium, light slash medium. I don't know. I really like it. I'm wearing it right now. It gives really nice light coverage, but it's very moisturizing. Um, and I really like it. It um only gave me a few bumps when I first started using it, but then uh, I really didn't because my skin takes time to get used to a product. Um, but I really like it and it's amazing. I definitely suggest it to people who have um, kind of sensitively dry, dry skin um, and I have a slightly oily t-zone so it's really fine for it. Um, next, taking out my makeup pouch, um, is the Happy um, Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Powder. It's by Physicians Formula. How cute is this packaging? Oh my god, it's pink. I love pink. That's like my favorite color. Um, but this is what it looks like, and this is what the bronzer looks like. It's in the light bronzer, um, it, and it has this really cute pink heart. Um, and then it comes with a mirror and a brush. Looks like this. I don't mind the brush. I only use it when I'm on the go. Sorry, it's looking in the mirror. Um, I would only use it when I'm on the go, um, so, but usually I just use it with my regular brushes. But I really like it. It smells amazing. And I'm wearing it right now, and it gives really nice light bronziness. So, it's good for you little paler people. I'm a little pale in the winter, obviously. It's depressing. I know. <laughs> um, next is Illegal Length Mascara by Maybelline. I'm in love with it. It's, it's amazing. It holds the best curl in the world. This is what the wand looks like. This is the whole packaging thingy. Damn. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's really amazing. Um, it holds a curl all day. I'm wearing it right now, but I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, yeah. But do you see that? Okay. <laughs> this is really awkward right now. But it holds a curl the whole entire day. Um, and I really like it. It's, oh my god, it's just amazing. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a great, great, great mascara. It's probably the best mascara I've ever used in my whole entire life. Like, amazing. Okay. <laughs> so, next is the lip gloss I'm wearing right now. Um, it's Infallible um, in Fiery. It looks really pink, but um, it really isn't. It's it's like it is pink, but it has like all this bronzy gold sparkly flex in them. And it looks more pink than it on, on my computer, but in real life, I'm looking in my mirror, it's over there, um, it looks very natural, but you can definitely tell that you're wearing lip gloss and pinkness. It's, it's definitely a little bit darker than I, what I usually do, because I usually do more naturally nude pink, um, but I really like it, and, um, I just really love it. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's definitely a great lip gloss, and I definitely suggest that to anyone who wants to try playing up their lip color, but likes lip gloss. Um, and then, my last makeup thing is um, the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder for those movie star brows. Oh, This is what the packaging looks like, um, and then this is what it looks like on the inside. It comes with two um, shadow thingies, powders. Um, it comes with a spoolie and a comes with a spoolie and a little angled brush and then it comes with wax to keep those hairs in place. So I got this in black gray and the gray one fits me a little bit better. I don't want my eyebrows looking too dark um, but it's really great. Um, I didn't use it today but I really like this to give my eyebrows that nice finished look. Okay, so I have one thing for hair, and it is the Moroccan Argan Oil by Organics. It's amazing. It's great. It gives your hair a nice shine, and it lasts you the whole day. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then for skincare, um, I have the St. Ives Naturally Clear Apricot Scub, Scub, 
scrub, apricot scrub in, um, well, not in something. <laughs> um, it's naturally clear. Um, and it is basically favorite, 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 favorite scrub that I've ever used in my whole life. I only use it twice a week, and I gently pat it on my face, I guess, and then do little circles, but I don't, like, over-scrub my face because it makes it really irritated, but it definitely does do its job when you use it the right way. So, yeah. Um, and then for just kind of look in general, I've been going for, because I'm obsessed with the Hunger Games, as you know, I've been going for the, you know, the Jennifer lawrence -y Katniss look. So this is her, um, the Girl on Fire um, tribute parade look. Um, I put in an orange corner, outer corner, um, and then I put a bit of peach in the crease, but orange. I highlighted the eyeball, the eyeball. I highlighted um, the middle of the eyelid. Put I tight lined my um, my whatever it's called, lash line, and then I put um, the Legal Length Mascara. Um, I used Peach Blush, and I didn't highlight it, but that's what I was mean to do, and then I have some bronzer. And then I used the Fiery thing, because this is the actual, I think this is the real lip gloss that they use, but um, I got it from InStyle, and this is my Katniss braid. I'm just going to do a little spin around so you can see the back. Okay. So that's, okay, that was really awkward. <laughs> Um, but that's the braid, and I really like it. It's amazing, and I'm obsessed with it, so. <sighs> okay, I haven't been talking really fast. I had a lot of sugar today. Um, for my favorite perfumes, I have Wonderstruck and Preppy Princess. <sighs> Sorry. What I love about um this is it smells super girly, super feminine, but... Preppy Princess smells a little bit more sophisticated, and then Wonderstruck just is amazing. It has that more romantic feel. Um, so yeah, and I'm a very fruity person, and they're both perfectly fruity. Um, books I've been reading as The Sun Also Rises. I've been reading that for English class. It's by Ernest Hemingway, and if you're a huge fan of the 1920s and the Jazz Age, I highly suggest that, and The Lost Generation. It's very good. Um, it's a little confusing at first, but it's a really good book. Oh, hold on. Okay, so basically, um, I got this from Urban Outfitters because I was getting my cousin something. It's, um, Stuff Every Woman Should Know. It's by Alana Cobb. <coughs> Excuse me. That was disgusting. Okay. <clears throat> and it's a really good book. It teaches you very vital information, life skills that you need to know. Vital information, oh my god, do you remember that? That's from like all that. Sorry. Minor freak out. <clears throat> anyway. But stuff every woman should know, you should definitely get that. I'm not sure if they make that for guys. I think they do. But I'd check it out, your urban. Um, here's my Kindle. I've been reading um, the help on it, but I haven't really gone through that yet because I've been busy with schoolwork. And then I reread The Hunger Games. I'm obsessed with it. I've, we've gone there for this. Okay. Um, so next is TV. And I watched The Breakfast Bunch on Victorious. Mm -hmm. It's on Nickelodeon, I believe. Uh, um, I'm actually obsessed with that show, but uh, I know other people that are, so it's okay. Um, but I really like the show. Um, I like their tribute to John Hughes. The Breakfast Club is probably my favorite John Hughes movie. Um, and... I really just loved it. Oh my god. Um, and I thought the tribute was perfect because it gave it that cheesy 80s movie feel, which it's supposed to get, but it got captured every element of The Breakfast Club, but still kept the characters of their own show. I liked it. I really liked it. And it's a little dirty. <laughs> they use vegan instead of that word. <laughs> Virgin. Lols. Sorry if I just ruined that for anyone. Awkward. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, also House of Anubis on Nickelodeon. It's a really good show. It has British people, and I love British people. It's got a lot of mystery, yet it's got relationships and all that stuff that I love. <laughs> I like mystery, though. Um, Ellen show. I love the Ellen show. It's amazing. 
I just watched it with Josh Hutcherson today, and I love Josh Hutcherson. Okay, I don't love Josh, Hutch Josh Hutcherson, but he's very gorgeous. Okay, awkward. <clears throat> and Jimmy Fallon. I love Jimmy Fallon. He's so adorable. He's hilarious, too. I just try to stay up till 12.35, but I, like, struggle. Oh, and he has The Roots on it, and The Roots, my brother sh um, introduced me to The Roots, and I love The Roots. Um, I wrote my final English paper last year on them, and I got an A. Ah! But, um, <clears throat> it was really awesome. And I don't get A's on English papers. I hope you know that. <laughs> um, but next for music, I love the voice of J Victoria Justice. I love A Ariana Grande. Adele, um, Ariana Grande sounds just like Adele. Well, yeah. Um, very, she has that really old school classic-y, never goes out of style voice that is just so powerful and amazing. Oh my god, amazing, and I love her hair. <laughs> um, Taylor Swift, Safe and Sound, love it, because, you know, Hungry Game Street. But I actually really like Safe and Sound. I liked it before I actually read the book. Um, a few days before I read the book. Okay, actually one day before I read the book. I started reading the book literally the day before I, the day after I heard Safe and Sound. <clears throat> and then anything classic rock. Basically the Beatles. I've been listening to the station. It's called 102.9. Um, I don't know. It's a Philly station. But I really like it. Um, it has great music. And I just really love classic rock. I love the Beatles though. That's my favorite. Favorite. And Queen. That too. I have a lot of favorites. I like Bruce Springsteen too. Okay. Ugh. I just need to stop going on tangents. And then for um, movies, um, films, whatever they're called. Um, I love John Hughes movies, as um, I just said. And uh, I just love them so much. Um, Babel, I've been watching that in English class. The same one that ha I recommended, um, uh, The Sun Also Rises by Hemingway. Babel's a really good movie. It has Brad Pitt in it, but you should watch it. It's a little bit inappropriate and scary, so I suggest you should be a little bit mature if you're watching it, so, as with the any John Hughes movie. <laughs> um, but also, A Little Princess, um, I was rediscovering that um, quite a few um, like weeks ago. I love that movie. That was my favorite movie when I was little, and I still love it. Oh my god, it makes me like cry. I just, I just love it. And then I cannot wait for the Hunger Games. <sighs> yeah. That's me trying to hold my excitement. But I just cannot contain my excitement. I'm just so excited. Um, I'm definitely going to Midnight Showing. Just saying. Um, but really, I love it. And I'm just super excited. And I really hope you like this video. Um, I'm sorry it's about a week late. But I really... I'm trying to make time for videos. I'm a second semester senior. I'm a little bit lazy, really on all ends. So I hope you like this. Um, I really hope to make more. I hope to make tutorials, hauls, blah, 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 blah. Reviews. So yes. Okay. Doing it. Bye, guys. <laughs>